Good morning, lovely humans. Okay, so another reason why I love quantum mechanics is because when you start to zoom in to the tiny, 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 tiny atoms that make up everything that we can see, feel, hear, touch, etc. Um, so protons, neutrons, etc. and deeper in, you get to quarks and things like that. So things get real weird. And one of the real weird things that you might know from light, light is both a particle and a wave. So like discrete, aka like you could like, there's like a, like a rock, like you could pick it up or whatever. Um, it's not really how it works, but to get the idea of what discrete means. And then it's also continuous, like a wave. Um, and so that's kind of like a water wave. Like there's no part of the wave that you can like pick up, right? And be like, this is the wave. The wave is the whole thing. And so it turns out that it's not just light that does that. It's actually all particles that do that. So, um, like an electron, for example, is both a, a point uh, source, like you would be like, it's there um, sometimes. Um, and it's also continuous. And so in quantum mechanics, the goal of quantum mechanics kind of is, is like to find the wave function um, for whatever system you're of interest in, um, you're interested in. So like, you know, the wave function for a hydrogen atom, for example, um, which you can calculate by hand. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but you can do it. Uh, but as soon as you start to get more complicated atoms or like to elements or anything more complicated, it's like, ha, LOL, that's funny. But you know, theoretically with more and more powerful computers, physicists are able to um, calculate more and more complicated wave functions. Anyway, the point of all of this is to just say that I thought that was really beautiful and made a lot of sense to me because it's like, like us humans were like, I am a discrete entity. Like I end at the boundary of my skin or whatever, or my hair, I don't know. Um, like the idea is like you could draw a box around us and be like, I am this. But that's not really accurate because we shed skin and our body grows new cells. Um, we speak things into existence and those sound waves leave our voice. You know, we are taking in inputs from all around us that exist outside of our body, but then our body is using those and processing them, etc. So it's, it's when you start to get deeper and to think of and thinking about it um, more and more, you start to be like, oh wait, we're, we're a little squishier than that. Like we're a little more continuous than we think. Um, and to get a little woo woo for a second, I really believe that we are much more connected to the universe than we realize that like we are part of everything, right? And I think that's really beautiful in the same way that forests have like mycorrhizal networks and everything is interconnected. So are we, we're part of everything. And if you just kind of sit and tune into it, you can, uh, you can start to feel it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, the first part was science, the second part was like my little interpretation, um, believies, if you will. But I hope that it brings you joy. Thanks for listening. Bye.